come with me guys let's go shopping i've been talking about how things are expensive in canada but be like i said just the talk so you guys come with me but before we go let's just see how we look in this mirror before we head out okay all right guys so this is us heading to the store today we'll be shopping from different stores my monthly shopping i usually do it from different stores but uh, i don't even think i'll be able to do all today but let's just see how it goes first stop we'll be stopping at um canadian superstore this is one of the biggest stores guys i'm not even going to mention all the things that i'm going to be showing you so just be looking eh anyone that you see the price that surprises you just open your mouth and close it because me i cannot even talk too much anyway this is us shopping for oil shopping for things that we used to be cooking in our house and um the prices are not pricing okay but some of the things are expensive some of the things are not to be honest um even though most of the things are expensive i'm not even going to be complaining anymore because sometimes when you complain people are like oh how much are you earning it has to it, it has to jive well, how much you earn versus how much you spend you guys i never get work for canada so this is not even about how much you earn i'm just spending this is rice 18 dollars and um this is for 8 kg although there's a cheaper product which is the one that i eventually got that one was for like 16 dollars this is me checking out i just bought a few things because i like to get some things for some certain stores it was mm, plantain that even brought me to this store but they didn't even really have because i like to buy on ripe plantain and buy a lot but they just had a few ripe ones so we just picked a few and this is us paying you guys for these few items guess how much i paid look at the receipt now so that you not think i'm lying 80 dollars okay no problem sha let's move to the next store we don't come we say we don't come next store is freshco and um yeah for fresh i like to buy like my fresh produce um uh, my vegetables and also from pepper tomatoes um and all that vegetables okay so today i decided to pick okra i picked pepper i picked some other things a few other things and um yeah another thing i wanted to show you guys is the price of tomatoes you see me heading to the tomato stand so that you can understand what i mean now for this place then um, tomato cost um more than it actually cost from the other store so i had picked the other from the other store before coming here but it cost um 3.49 i think here this is me showing you the price of okra that small one that i just picked is like five dollars or about four dollars this one here is if you want to measure it was about five pounds hmm, five pounds okay five dollars something for a pound anyway this is tomatoes this is 349 per pound and for people wondering what is a pound this is me showing you guys what a pound looks like just three pieces on the scale one pound now big size is just so let me not complain too much but just three pieces cost 349 imagine how much i have to spend for me to do a pot of stew thank god i even picked from the other store this is the edos or edos or whatever they pronounce it as people claim that it's the same thing as our ede or our kokoyam i have never tried it and i'm not even ready to try because i still get like my dry kokoyam that i came with that i use as stick now maybe when that one finishes then i can decide to try i'm just showing you guys the price of other things your garlic your ginger your onions and they like so that you can have an idea of what the price is huh, god shopping no easier shopping and recording is even harder this is pepper bell pepper four pieces cost about 4.97 approximately five dollars um not too bad but i've bought cheaper so mm, i will still complain small all right so this is the red one for people wondering oh you cannot mix it you can either pick one because they already packed it together if you want to mix you just go and do counting <laughs> pick the ones that have not been bagged this is their irish potato and their sweet potato i wanted some sweet potato so this is me showing you guys how much this is this weighs eight pounds i think yes it was about eight pounds was it no i think it was four pounds that weighed four pounds and one pound cost about two dollars so yes this is our fruits those are clementines or mandarins i'm not sure now these are your lemons your lime your plums um your kiwi and all that good stuff your pear so for people who like fruits <laughs> this is your session i think that this is more expensive here than you get it in the uk but i need to stop comparing the uk with canada because i'm now in canada Abby. this is tissue very important 
this is 30 pieces and it costs about 19 something um almost 20 dollars to be honest not so bad but mm, i've gotten better as well yes guys so this is me just showing you guys a few other things just little little things it wasn't easy showing you the whole store and shopping at the same time because you know how stressful it is to shop not to talk of recording and shopping price of pizza this is the average store-bought pizza that you get six dollars seven dollars eight dollars and this is actually discounted this is why it's six dollars sometimes i get lucky i get them discounted to up to maybe like four dollars and i grab <laughs> as many as i can usually i buy for like the month which is like four or five packs for my kids fresh um well this is not fresh but mixed vegetables um six dollars not so bad this one i had to show you guys because it's one of the cheap things that i think i have found in this canada is a box of drumsticks and it's just going for eleven um dollars sometimes i even the one that's safe is it not too cheap but i still buy i'm sure this one here reminds me of abacha it's noodles but every time i see it i just remember abacha maybe one of these days i could just experiment and see how it looks when i use it to do abacha <laughs> whether it will be edible or not anyway i show you guys some other things as well like fish this fish uh, it's just one of those things like okay we'll make we just buy make we use them do something yeah so i'm just going to show you guys some other types of fishes or fish or whatever it is and just head out to pay um yeah so that's about it for fresh go i'm heading out now i don't think i need anything else um i got some more things that i didn't show you guys but anyway you will see what it looks like in my cart so this is my cart um about to pay i picked some things for my kids picked box of chicken and um yeah it cost 202 dollars for these things that you can see i bought a lot of things from that store but okay now it's dollarama i like this store because <laughs> of course i like it because it's cheap so if you're in the uk this is your equivalent um of the one below or your pound store or pound land right whichever one you shop from and um yes yeah, so here i like to buy things that um, i use for cleaning my cleaning items my detergents maybe cooking utensils um things that i can get from this store. i usually get it here because it's more affordable than having to get it from other stores as long as it's not something that i want to be um too durable or want to last forever i mean they even have some really good products so i'm not even going to lie i like this store they also have nice um, snacks for my kids. So these are some of the things that I pack for them when they go to school. So I just like to get variety here and at an affordable price. I love this breakfast. I had to pick it. In fact, I picked two and decided to change one for another flavor. But we love this breakfast in our house. <laughs> and it's cheap. So, of course. These are the other things that um, they have. Like I mentioned, they have a variety of stuff. Nice stuff, actually. Some things are really, really nice here and um it's dollarama so it's cheap okay this granite's not nice sha even though it's cheap but mm, i just found this one around that um aisle and decided to pick it because i've been wanting to get something like this but because it's not urgent and um the prices were crazy on amazon i just decided not to so when i found it here i decided to grab one and then i walked past the aisle for valentine things they have some nice nice things that you can put in your valentine packs and um you know valentine gifts so i just decided to look at it um yeah so for people that are valentine this would be a nice place for you to feed your eyes of course if you're in the uk you have good options as well but this is the store this is me paying my battery was almost off i'll be my phone was almost off at this point so guys i'm back like the day is over um back from all the shopping I couldn't show you guys everything because like you know my battery went off or my phone went off because my battery died so yeah i've even finished sorting i just wanted to end this video so finally what i spent in the llama was like 68 dollars so 68 plus 202 plus 80 round figure that's like 350 mind you that's not all i'm going to spend this month i'm still going to go shopping tomorrow to another store to buy the rest of the things that i need and hopefully fingers crossed fingers crossed i will not have to go shopping again but before i end this video i wanted to show you guys something i wanted to show you the chicken and what it looks like okay 
so in each box in those boxes that i showed you this is what you have right and sometimes you get um, a large number sometimes you not get so much i don't know if you can see these ones are quite big so i have 19 pieces here sometimes you get like 22 sometimes you get 23 sometimes you get 26 but these ones are big so i guess that's why it's 19. so that's it guys you have seen <laughs> my shopping day how it goes sometimes yeah and um yeah please do not forget to give this video a like share with your friends if they want to know what shopping in canada looks like manitoba precisely um these stores are everywhere in canada so i'm pretty much sure that it's the same thing for most places right but so yeah that's it guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and i'll see you guys in the next one until then bye guys